A former excise commissioner has also been raided. Now, people familiar with the matter said that an FIR has been registered naming Manish Sodia, the former excise commissioner, Arav Gopi Krishna, among several others, and also added that the raids were going on at 21 premises across seven states and union territories. So, we're talking about raids that are on in seven states and union territories, 21 premises in total. And apart from Manish Sodia now, trouble also mounting for the former excise commissioner whose premises too have been raided. So that's what's uh, being stated at the moment that an FR has also been registered, naming both Manish Sisodia and the former excise commissioner, Arav Gopi Krishna. Now we've been picking up several reactions from the Ahmadmi party who have been alleging political vendetta non-stop. Let me go across to Bhavtosh first up with this latest bit of breaking news update coming in. Bhavtosh, we are being told that the FR, apart from Manish Sisodia, also names the former excise commissioner whose premises too have been raided. What more can you tell us? Well, uh, the FR in fact names uh, Manish Sisodia and also names uh, several other excise officers including the then uh, excise commissioner A. E. Gopi Krishna who is now posted uh, in Daman and Diu and his premises are being raided. Uh, he is also uh, suspended along with uh, 11 other officials. The suspension happened around uh, a, a, a week back. Uh, CBI has said that once these searches are over, they will be making this uh, FIR public. In fact, we are joined by uh, Madhav who is here at uh, Manish Sisodia residence. This politically, this case will become very big because Absolutely. Sisodia has said that his premises are being raided and his um, uh, mobile phone and other gadgets, gadgets have now been seized by the CBI. Absolutely. And it's not just uh, this one location, Bhaktosh, as you rightly mentioned, there are multiple locations over here. And this is a huge turning point because this is an issue on which the BJP has been saying there has been corruption on part of the Delhi government. Now, this has been strongly denied as far as the excise policy is concerned from the Aam Aadmi Party. But this has also seen the Congress jump in. The Congress has also on the issue of corruption been uh, dislodged from governance here by the Aam Aadmi Party and that's why you're seeing Congress also go all out to take it out, particularly the Delhi Congress unit as far as the Aam Aadmi Party is concerned, saying that there was corruption, that Lika Mafia was involved with top leaders, photographs have come out in the public domain. So this is certainly going to be a huge inflection point as far as Delhi's politics is concerned. The Aam Aadmi Party's supporters are here protesting, saying that this is misuse of central agencies, but what actually has happened this time around and is different from other cases is that you're not seeing opposition parties united on that issue. You're seeing opposition parties fairly divided. Congress particularly taking this opportunity to hit out on the Amadi party and therefore this certainly will be very significant to see how this matter proceeds in court. Yes, the CBI is here as we've been seeing the officials at Mr. Sisodia's residence. They're at multiple locations, at least 20 locations as you've been reporting since this morning. But this is a very, very important development for the simple fact that uh, uh, it is the deputy chief minister who is in fact in the, under the scanner over here and the role of the chief minister also, some photographs, etc., in the form of allegations are coming out. What that role is, we don't know. We know the chief minister does not officially hold any post or manage any particular department himself. So whether this will actually, you know, have any kind of implication as far as Arvind Kejriwal at the moment at least is not very clear. But the number two man in the Ahmadi party as far as Delhi is concerned, Manish Sisodia, in this manner being raided, is certainly going to have its huge set of implications. Back to you. Madam, this happened uh, just uh, two months back. Uh, Satyendra Jai who is also was in fact uh, the Home Minister of Delhi. He was arrested in a money laundering case. The enforcement directorate at that point of time said that uh, he laundered money and uh, he in fact illegally purchased land worth at least 23 crore rupees. He has, he's still in fact in the Council of Ministers and it's unlikely despite CBI filing a, a case of a Prevention of Corruption Act against Sodia that any action will be taken. Do you think that uh, both BJP and Congress will again target uh, Kejriwal and Sisodia? Absolutely. And this is a very important point that you have raised because here, uh, what is the Aam Aadmi Party's defence? That's also very important to examine. Aam Aadmi Party is saying that two areas where we have worked and we have seen these have been political issues. Aam Aadmi Party has taken this to the people and they have been re-elected as well. Is the issue of health and the issue of uh, education. In these two areas, the work that they have done, Aam Aadmi Party repeatedly says that people of Delhi have benefited, the common man has benefited and because of the work done over there, 
the politically they are being targeted uh, Mr. Satyendra Jain is of course as we know the health minister along with other departments Manish Sisodia along with uh, excise also handles the department of education so it's a bid to target the two ministers who have done the maximum work is the argument coming in from the Aam Aadmi Party side will this argument be convincing as far as the people's court is concerned that's something that we'll only know in the next election but at least as far as the legal troubles are concerned Satyendra Jain first and then now Manish Sisodia big faces in the Aam Aadmi Party who have in fact been targeted through the course of this entire day. That's what we have to watch out for in terms of what this means also for others. And also, of course, remember the fact that several right. officials... Madhav and Bhaktosh, out, stay on with us. We're now joined by BJP leader Tajinder Singh Bagga. Mr. Bagga, the Chief Minister of the National Capital did a press conference today in which he said, you know, that there is international praise for the reforms in the education system in the national capital. Credit uh, for that goes to Manish Sisodia. That is the biggest reason that he is being targeted. देखिए जब अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने राष्ट्र के नाम संदेश देने का ऐलान किया था तो लोगों ने सोचा था आज केजरीवाल जी ये बताएंगे कि किस प्रकार से जो दिल्ली के अंदर शराब के ठेके बांटे गए उसमें कितनी कमीशन किसको किसको आई लेकिन केजरीवाल जी ने जब किया अपनी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की उसमें लंदन पहुंच गए उसमें अमेरिका पहुंच गए उसमें जापान पहुंच गए लेकिन शराब के ठेकों का नाम तक नहीं दिया उन्होंने बताया नहीं कि क्यों दिल्ली के अंदर जो आबकारी पॉलिसी आई थी उस पॉलिसी को उन्होंने वापस लिया उन्होंने ये नहीं बताया कि उस आबकारी नीति में कितना भ्रष्टाचार हुआ सीबीआई जिस मुद्दे पे रेड डाल रही है उस बारे में एक शब्द नहीं बोला उल्टा एक नंबर लॉन्च करके चले गए और उन्होंने एक ये भी कहा कि देखिए न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स से खबर छपवाना कितना मुश्किल होता है वो ये भी एक्सेप्ट कर गए कि ये खबर छपी नहीं है खबर छपवाई गई है अब मुझे लगता है दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री को ये भी बताना चाहिए किस प्रकार से खबर छपवाई गई है और ये भी बताना चाहिए कि दिल्ली के ठेकों में कितना भ्रष्टाचार हुआ है किसको कितनी कितनी जो है कमीशन मिली है उस बारे में बात करनी चाहिए जी बगा साहब जब आज केजरीवाल जी के पास मौका था आ, सफाई देने का कि क्या है आम आदमी पार्टी का स्टैंड इस सब में तो उन्होंने मिस्ड कॉल कैंपेन की बात की कि इंडिया को नंबर वन बत, बताने के लिए आ, आप मिस्ड कॉल कैंपेन में पार्टिसिपेट करिए मिस्ड कॉल दीजिए और इस कैंपेन का पार्ट बनिए तो आपको लग रहा है डायवर्जन टैक्टिक है और कुछ नहीं जो सवाल उठाए जा रहे हैं जो कार्यवाही चल रही है उस पर तो कुछ नहीं बोला गया आपने खबर देखी होगी कि जब अरविंद केजरीवाल आईआईटी में पढ़ते थे उस समय वहां पे जो नोटंक नाटक मंडली चलती थी जो ड्रामा कंपनी थी उसके अंदर ये बहुत अच्छे एक्टर थे और इनको अवार्ड भी मिला था और मुझे लगता है कि आज की जो पीसी देखने के बाद आप भी कहेंगे कि जरूर इनको अवार्ड मिलना चाहिए आज की जो आप सारा मीडिया उनसे सवाल पूछ रहा है ये ये पूछ रहा है इस पॉलिसी में कितना कितना भ्रष्टाचार हुआ आज वो कहते नंबर वन बनाना चाहते हो किस नंबर में मिस कॉल पड़े बगा जी बगा जी एक एक